Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we wave our hands? Can we clap our hands also? Maranar so fatching. Sorry. This morning, Kahawello Yar said Chengayona, Yellow Norgana, the Layer Filling Matalabo Pelogawana of Bafa, Are local and Rumu to Michel, the local Lemolebo Salaonore, as he will be passing this way, blessing whosoever, Lena Quebecar Loyabona, so Maranar Sofa Chain, Sorto Pelaviano. My sisters, if they are there, I would appreciate if Bagabata Melamola the Miking, Molar Levelas Felasses, Sisere, Tango Jeso, Lete Capelli, Caurel, and Chola, Colonel Lushupanzela, Amajama Error. If you just want to take a step with Jesus or Rabalena on your journey, the roadmap. The one who can lead you so that you cannot be misled, it is him. So, or lay an out in Gasabili, and then Utala Pella are a town, Yellow Ratlatava, Arcopana, Releva Lupulutin, Sivin Sosi, Recopana Lamorena, Goena, Gasabil, Utuang Unzar Laya, or Unzar. Le Sambana, le Valesele, or Batterona, Kivesela, le Salambana Batterona, Scalabatibel. So Lenaba is a DB, Tawang, Siduling, Pakishang, So Rosabella la Marana Bialo, Marana Arsofach. One or Fatun, my brother, and then the Rio Pella Rapsana, Sasigrini. I don't know where your other sisters are. Mara Ardilens is Kahanaram with the motor so fat.
Ghana Nabi Chofache, Vele Baba Nomrena, as we keep on singing and saying, Jesus keeps me near the cross. Then there is a Timisha Marana Bialo, God bless you. Le Kare Flash Chayana Fao, near the cross. Then as we will be singing the song, I think we will also be rising to our feet so that we may have the service opened in prayer. Then the told the Rabialo Mogolo Matopa Shumo Haufimo. Then the Ruto Mushitaela. And then at the end of it all, Adar will let Reloka Tapelo. At the back there. Sisters. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There is a
morena le mopolisi wa rena mo misong ye mebotse o khonne gore botha go tswa mafelong a farologaneng wa tsena le rena mo ditseleng tsa o fapafapana mo dinambeleng tsa o fapafapana maikemishe tswa rena mo dimwaka e le o tla mongwa ko ngwa thapelo o tlo kwa se wena re tsweretse morena Jesu Kristo lo o tlo kwa rena maphelo a rena a gauswe le wena o ba a golele wena na morena wa ka ke nako e botse ya hore mang le mang a itekole ka lentjola ha o morena ka ba ka la hore mo le fase le modimwaka a ratela go ya le gonwa morena re tletse o pheta morero wa ha o morena Jesu Kristo re a go leboga mo sebakeng se le mo motsotsong wa ha o ka ba ka la hore morena Jesu Kristo ge nke be se wena morena le wa re morena wa rena a re tse bona nka be re le bomang nka be re le ko kae nka be re dira eng ka nnete nka be re le mabitleng nka be re senyeile nka be re le bjale ka dingutse re sena modishi khoshi e fela wena modimo wa ka wa tisha blood lamp morena wa ka wa tisha mo sefapano ya tlhabiwa ka le rumo morena ka di ka ba ka le uwe le khono le re batho re tse ba o rapela ka ba ka la re madi a mothumuluki a ila tsholo wa khoshiaka re tla mo modimo wa ka re kwela maina re no a bitswa bela ka ge mo pedi a re sampoti scholi my name re tle mo re tle mo pela se fa tlhaho sa o morena wa ka montong ya thapelo mongwa kongwa di phosholo mo dimwaka mo ile re khoshia ka the great physician is here mo rena wa ka ke di sa khone mo batho mo rena Jesu Kristo di khone ya mo wena ka moka mo dimwaka e tsa o tshe control mongwa ko mo dimwaka ge ka ba o mongwe mo mmoengwe ha o fase mo dimwaka mo emishi mo emtsoshe mo dimwaka e ka ba o mongwe mo dimwaka khoshia ka mo khoplong ya o fase mo dimwaka wena mo emeletse ka mata ha o ka le bitsola mo rena Jesu Kristo e ka ba o mongwe modimo a ka khoshia ka di sa mosepelele mo mongwe di sa mosepelele ka botse mo bophelong modimo a ka re le tsha dipelelo tsa rena mo rena Jesu o ba ne ko ena re belaelela mo rena wa ka o tseba tsa rena tshotlhe modimo a ka di pirile makunutu ke re ste Jesu o tseba bo wait ya o mongwe lo mongwe modimo a ka o tseba bo telele yo o mongwe lo mongwe mo rena wa ka o bona dikelelo tsa rena modimo a ka re gushe mo rena Jesu Kristo ka lentjola ha o papa re tle mo lentswe la theresho modimo a ka le ngwana bo rena sho pre tama khaleng a sa re me mo pele modimo a ka mo lebella ka le ka botho mo lebella ka le rato modimo a ka le ntsola o le setla modimo a ka khotsia ka anke le khotsa dipelo tsa rena dilukile mo rena Jesu diluke tso kwa wena modimo a ka e ge ka ba yo mobe o tsene mo mebileng ya rena ba sho gore robetse mo rena wa ka ka malwetsi ya hai o re a mo resistor a mo recaster ka le bitsola mo rena Jesu o ba ne Kristo Jesu ka se ka dula plekete le litimone mo rena wa ka o boletse mo rena wa ka re a le tsebege mebile ya na le tempele ya modimo na ka nete tempele ya hawe ka se ka dula le satane ka le filo le le tri ke a rapela modimo a ka tsa control tsa taolo modimo a ka tintha ka moka khoshia ka tse di sa loka mongwa ko ngwa thapelo modimo a ka yo mongwe lo mongwe le ntsula ha ba re tla o bolela le rena mo rena Jesu e ka mo rena Jesu bolela le rena khoshia ka sir fit modimaka ka di tshofa tsho tsha ha modimaka re gopela shawa of blessing o mongolo mo modimaka e ka ba ile mathoma tsana ka mo morena wa ka khoshia ka a kwa shawa of blessing ka le bitsola morena Jesu ra o le bo o se thagara tsa ba Christ o ka se re tisa point o ka se re nyamisha o ka se ke wa shala ka monta a service modimaka tsena mo dipelong tsa rena tsena le rena ka me service me re ro ka moka re ga fela matsong ha o ka o tsapala ka o bota le nna la ha la morena Jesu la ro polosha Amen and amen. Le rato le kaka le kaka le le rato le kaka le kaka. Le rato le kaka le kaka Le rato le kaka Di se fasanya No te meleño las sisters no sa tipisha marena God bless you Le rato le kaka le kaka Le rato la Jesu
name of the Lord Jesus Christ and that we say to each and every one of us feel welcomed feel at home this is the house of the Lord if there is any place wherever anyone maybe can be happy this is the only place can we clap hands unto our Lord <coughs> so 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 we could do more of what I'm maybe so I can say if the Dickens are close by that they come to the stage for whatever they will be having and then Rasa Bella a chorus or so sisters there would be more so fetching. Oh come let us see our joyful song and praise his name forevermore. Everyone in the house, you are welcome. 
Amen. The visitors among us, you are welcome. Just feel at home. Amen. Amen. And come, let us rejoice, all of us in the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Firstly, the month end service gathering. November. November. Twenty twenty-three. November Alright. Let us remind one another once more. anniversary wedding anniversary to twenty five November. November. If you had not prepared yourself, uh, just make haste. Amen. Amen. So it's almost upon us. Alright. And then Rape there is a request here. Uh, the Econ Chivarena. Uh, the Econs, brothers and sisters, if you find that you are not comfortable if you're facing it, when it's on, change your sitting to another place because we differ. One, it doesn't uh, feel nice to him. But whereas others are feeling so, so hot that they need it. That's how we differ. Let us bear one another. If you find that they bring some draft on you, change and go below them. Amen. So we thank for the last thing. Kitaba concerning the conference. Kibi amava bili conference. Kitlo kupala le reflashe chidi amounts chosa chidi patelemo. If brethren can flash the amounts payable overhead. So ba chala mama trusti barele le kupo chaba na mama reena. The trusti asked us to remind you. Hore the contribution disabuli chuo boche. Contributions are still open. Amen. All over. If there is something that you can offer as well, you are free to do that. Welcome to do that. Amen. Amen. So, the 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 amounts are as you see up there. Normally, we refer to the people who are arriving to adjust. The people who are arriving. They did not adjust. They Amen. are as they stand. So that's what they asked me to. Let us just pop up something. If we can see, I'll see it next time. You may find that other things cropped up and consumed all the money. Amen. So we are thankful, brothers and sisters. There is a prayer request. And then it will be able to give all the money in Corona. I'll read it as is. So, Malaki Fedi, check it out. Hope Ella. After fin reading, I'll ask. I'll ask. Rukone, get our Bramseke. Brother Moseke. Get our Hope Ella. Tell about a petition. I'll ask you to come and pray for them. Ebala ragatela e. Rest thus. Tobela majalefa. Greetings, brethren. I request that you pray with the Mutemani family. Sister Mutemani Sister Mutemani is suffering from the breast cancer. And then Brother Mutemani Basayo Bas O Basatsuinaki stroke. Brother Mutemani is still suffering from a stroke. Amen. 
Thank from you. Sister Mutemani. Ejo or Sister Mutemani. So, Banaba Mudimu. Well, brothers. Praying on a shoe, Bram Setleba Sarapella. Well, brother Msetle is praying. Lerna Araba Rapidishing. Let us also pray for them. Amen. Even the others that thank you that need to be prayed for. But they will raise their hands. Amen. So let's sing a worshiping song. Uh, and then worshiping song. Prayer request. Amen. We pray for our children, Heavenly Father. They are far and near, Father God. Mudimu Akara, at the level of Kopanani, the church, the Renata Gara, the church, Mungabo Pay. Mara, we know you are still God who is rich in mercy. Father God, we come, nothing good you have done. Refess me, Rosalind, to the heart. Pray, Rabbi, that God in a little pillar of Lamarana Jesus. To Shagrag, your home, do we sustain a girl, Hannah? The Hopel Lava Nava, how the two for the Jalo with him. Valomorena, Renata Nava Nava for God, a heavenly father. Madame Rerum, all the good people say, Our way one at the Marai. Mudima Gava, two, she got the need. The Renamudima Gawi, I need to get to Jana for heavenly father. Greg, how I want to have you say, Jamona, heavenly father. Rara Pella, Hopella Moya, how to renegar as a visa. To Shaba Nava, how Valvela got a Sama, Mudima Lok. Bow to me, but a pillar where Namalebula people appear. God, where now you are the great fountain of life. You are the two Shamdi, who were back to the original with him. We come on a little Dilanja was so hard. Relevant a poor column, Dima Holok. God, where now Mudima was the body paid to the Fulfill every promise in this hour. To share family, I'm a man who did move out to the Yolokam and a good push. But how Helam ran away for Najagar had been Java. But as a Mudima Femata, inspire them with the word of this hour. God, where now, Pali, we are not distance in the Holok. So, Holo Tata could we for Najagar and my Pilabon. O Salomo for this, he had been the father. God, who let you are only believe all things are possible. Father God, we Commit, commit everything into your hands. Oshia garo sarapela munga bo pelo. Tuisha le mutanga osa lorubo jama lele dia ha umre. Rocho no uwa re amuga lo solo lo weje jawe. Dine ndele pila ola mre na Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, re ale bo abona mre na. Thank you, brethren. Mutumu kinu buchisha. Tavaya, Pishu, Lingamova, the Econi, the Light Way. I think you have a understood about the Econs that they should be put on and so forth. What fish are come? Yeah, all right. God bless you. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> The Bible said, 
help each other, encourage each other, and give each other strength. This song, when my pastor sing it, I feel, when he sing it, I feel that I am ready. I am ready to cross the river Jordan. my brother and then when uh, she was shock I like I'm Pata Mela we will appreciate Rosa Opela Rere send them over again to me 314 send them over again to me Wonderful words of life Let me more of the beauty see Wonderful words of life Words 
it's all flat and beauty teach me faith and duty beautiful ways wonderful ways wonderful ways of life
Rile bo gile ba no mo rena a re ka no tia matso a rena go le bo ga dilo ka moka so re le bo gile so a ke no re go fitla fa maybe before to hand over nga le sita ba re ka khona go emela re ke rulo bine la morana ga nyane a ke tsoe sisters for la rato la jesa a le maka tsena ale sone le la batho ale so sele tsege ale na le mona den den re bine la mona ga dalo e be re se na bo bono re le malabula bu a re ti a jesu a re sa tsa
Dendar Sakroba, Moro, Quell, and Chalamurim, Rabam Moro, or Malachofa, Jemmer, and other Patelas in your name on the Jati. So may God bless each and every one of you. Then, uh, if possible, can we sing together from Only Believe, song number 129? He has got the table spread where the sins of God are fed, so you are invited. So he invites his chosen people just to come and die. You don't just go there to labor. All what you have to go and do is just to be seated at the table and die. Jesus set the table spread where the sins of God are fed. He invites his chosen people. Come and Our greetings to all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Really well. We thankful. So, uh, is it uh, a good morning? Uh, I thought that we should just uh, announce something before we can call upon the preacher. Then we've got a death notice here. Yeah, brother Tladi. Of brother Tladi. Uh, the old ones, you know, Brother Tladi, the man with the pass. What? Eh, from Gauti. What, what, Gauti? Oh, Alice Amrupola. Um, you don't remember him? How can I, I describe him, Brother Mahali? Ah, Umatupa, Gijero Matupa, go on over Kamasevang, Lewum Japelo. Uh, Mar, let me read the message as it appears here. Dear brothers and sisters, please remember Sister Saratladi, her children, and great children in prayer. Her husband, brother Andy Tladi, cross Jordan this afternoon. May our Lord be the comfort and strength at this time. Thank you and God bless you. Mernarcho Fache. Nagidi Melaba Twale Bakale Keva Kodiche and they know Brother Tadi very well. Thank those people. I I I I Libra Bila Wom Siva. Uh, a tall man with a bass voice. So, kid me lavara pela kwa ga pastoratif. Kita no pastoratif kita labi abe. Prophet. 
probably was worshiping at Pastor Retief's place. And so Urishile. Uh, has and then over. funeral and other things, but as time goes on. And then the second one that I wanted to announce. We received a message that Brother Jewel is sick. So, kidu melore khege bole la bialo sontjo ba ale admitted because baba strike la home admit that this morning ke kholo ro se ja mo wetjo bo ke long ka ro ba katana lo ra ma go elwe so ba khopela di thapelo they are requesting for your prayers gore modimo a mothusha go no fola the lord should heal him so i hope ke be le botse brother mahamata put it well brother mahamata god bless you and then uh, Arnore at this moment remelling come out to let us stand at this moment Rob have a moment of silence and then uh, after the moment of silence I'll request brother Pila to put the family to the Lord and then a uh, local so to request the Lord to heal Brother Mkhwana. Amen. Aramele. Ramatla Oshle, Mbaba Gona Mkhwicha Lo Gona, Mdima Rena Arena Morkaya Rena, except coming here, Amen. Except coming before the children of God mm. and reporting everything that troubles us. Mm. Report everything about the devil. Mm. We know that there are prayers that are emanating from this house mm. that will chase after every demon that is besetting us. Mm. It's our request this morning, Almighty God, mm. that come down as we pray. Be a healer, O Lord, to Brother Mkhwane. Our brother that we have known for so long. Amen. Heal him that the angel of the Lord can visit him mm. and take him out of the hospital. Amen. Completely healed. I'm asking that in the name of Jesus Christ. Putting also the Tladi family after old man Tladi has passed over mm. while they are doing preparations for the burial. They are going to put this and this and this together mm. that they can accomplish the whole thing. Amen. Their strength, O oh Lord, but then be their strength. Let them put even more trust in you, Almighty God. Mm. You are our Savior. You are our healer. You are our life. In you we trust. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, God bless you. Uh, uh, give us a song. You are Alpha and Omega. We
Lebora. Thank you. Are you feeling another worshiping song? Another song worshiping. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome. Then uh, Rnali Muruti Mutasa today. God Pastor Mutasa today. Then again at the Rifalin Sula Mudim. The one who's going to dish for us. La Mamorela. You welcome him. Ralevo. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And then, so, well, brother, brother, Pastor Mutasa is coming to the front. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. We like to take this time. We like to take this time and uh, open the service with a word of prayer. As we also pray for the reading of the word. If you've got a request upon your heart, something you want the Lord to do for you, things you are praying for in private, you are in the right place this morning. He has promised to meet with us here. He has promised to meet with us here and to supply all our needs from his riches and glory. We can't exhaust him. He's a high priest touched by the feelings of our infirmities. Shall we pray? Lovely heavenly father we bow our hearts before your throne of grace this end time morning in humble adoration submitting to your presence to your will and your way knowing that we are living in an hour of 
instability, an age of corruption, where Laodicea has taken a toll upon the entire global village. But yet we have a promise from you that you be with us, even in us, unto the end of the world. We are coming upon this simple faith because you said even if your faith is as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be thou moved, and it will be moved. In our unbelief state, in many instances, the enemy tells us we cannot make it. The enemy tells us you cannot hear our prayers. But you have taught us through your word that the weakest amongst us, if they kneel down, their prayer is powerful as the prayer of David. And you say if the strongest will stand, the prayer is as powerful as Michael's. And we are believing, Lord, as we are coming in one accord. As your word says, if two shall agree upon touching anything, then it shall be done. We are agreeing in prayer with different situations, different conditions, family related, work related, school related, health related. You know exactly what we are going through and the junction we are standing even this morning. Come and have the preeminence, Lord, and grant healing to those that are sick. I pray that you give direction to those that are confused. Lord. That you revive the backslider yes, Lord. and encourage the one that is wayward. Yes, May you show forth your hope yes. even in this final hour yes. that all that the enemy has stolen will be brought yes. back. Oh, yeah. Whether it's our children, yes. our loved ones, yes. we are claiming them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. That is, we have assembled here not in a religious way, we are under expectation for the supernatural to take place. And let it be, I pray, even this moment in time. Attend everyone, both visible and invisible audience. Thank you, Lord Jesus, even for our precious pastor, Pastor Mkori. We pray for him as well. That you strengthen him, both in body and in spirit. You can see the battles that he has fought in this life. As a young man, you made him to take care of this flock. And he grew in this ministry, learning a lot of things, even in the hardest ways. And Father, today he has produced many sons, many daughters. And Father, his body is becoming weak. We are praying, oh God, that you remember his labors of love. That you may stand with him, oh God, in this hour as you have done with your servants of old in such a time as this Lord that's where your glory would be shown amongst them and that is our desire Lord Jesus that you give him oh God strength you give him health you give him life you give him joy and most of all Lord your perfect will in everything that he does I dedicate even the church the elders the office bearers and every individual Lord that is part of this assembly under the influence of this voice. May you supply from your riches and glory whatever that they have need of. Even as we will be reading your word, take me and hide me behind the cross of Calvary. Let me not speak of my own, but undertake for me, Lord. As a man, I've got personal limitations, but I'm trusting upon you, Lord, that you transcend beyond my humanistic elements that every one of us here will leave this place with an answer knowing indeed the Lord has spoken to them that is our prayer and that is our petition so we dedicate the rest of the proceedings in your hands be even with the interpreter help us to be in the same spirit at one accord even for your honor we ask it in Jesus name and everybody say Amen Praise be to God. As we give a hand of praise. Um, without wasting much of our time. Um, 
want us to read the scripture so that we sit down. Um, I'm going to read a scripture on yeah. slide number two, Brother Eliezer. Second Kings chapter six. I'll read from verse. Nine, which is saying which of us is of the king of Israel Amen. which of us is of the king of Israel now then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants saying in such and such a place shall be my camp and the men and the men of God sent unto the king of Israel saying beware that thou pass not such a place for thither the Syrians are come down and the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there, not once or twice. Kemo Hoshia Israela Arumilo Bato, Baya, Momuna Mudimo, Aubulechiro, Waka Petuarona, Seo Rasaka, Sadiruarati, Lere Ele, Rabedi, Fail. Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was so troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not shew me which of us is of the king of Israel? And now this is a time of war and two nations are fighting but it appears that the other nation sees the traps and snares set against it. So the king is worried. Is there a spy amongst us? Who's telling our secrets to the enemy? And one of the servants said, None, my lord. Or king, but Elisha the prophet that is in Israel, tell the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. Let's take our seats. Praise be to God. I want to take this time to appreciate our pastor. Uh, pastor Mkowi. For extending the invitation. Uh, for me this is home this is home and um, even before you welcome me I feel at home you know sometimes in life in the natural life it's easy for children to forget parents when, when they get married start to stay far. It's, it's a natural thing that we all go through. But we are taught that our blessing is always with the parents. And even spiritually speaking, praise God. Yes, I may be a pastor and have a church. A type of marriage. And then but it doesn't mean I still I don't have parents. Isn't it fathers still have fathers as well? So we appreciate this place that we call home. So God bless you, person. We appreciate it. Now for a subject. 
uh, this morning uh, don't lose hope and then for a subheading I will not suffer my bride to see corruption don't lose hope I will not suffer my bride to see corruption now we are living in an age of hopelessness because of the pressures that are surrounding the global village. You speak of wars. You speak of natural disasters. You speak of the economic crisis. You speak about religious dis stabilization it seems as if there is no direction in life there are places where you know you know where to run to when you are put in a corner but now we are living in a time where the earth itself cannot fight for itself the earth itself it can't fight for itself and as we speak both believers and unbelievers have come to a place of agreement that this world cannot take it anymore at any time it can give in to the pressures that have been caused upon it by human activity. We have not yet started talking about the end time message. We are talking about the natural condition that both a believer and an unbeliever can witness. And yet, in this time of uncertainty, God is saying, do not lose hope. Praise be to God. Because it is easy to lose hope. It is easy to give up. It is easy to let go. And I believe as the Lord will be addressing this subject upon the condition of the entire age you can allow the message to come into your individual life. Because what applies to the nation It applies to the family It also applies to individuals Perhaps you are losing hope In your marriage Maybe you are losing hope With your children Maybe you are losing hope In your faith as a believer as God will be addressing find a spot where you can hold on and say Lord this man doesn't know what I'm going through it has nothing to do with my life so it will be wrong for me to think it's not you talking to me can somebody say amen so now where we just read it was a time of war and this question it is to do with what you may call today surveillance. Because you know when nations are fighting, we know they are using spies, they use surveillance. They use secret services. And you can trace it back to the Sputnik moment. The time Russia was the first 
nation to reach low earth orbit. It brought a steer upon the entire globe. More specifically to America. Because they thought if Russia is now in low earth orbit it means they can spy on us they can see what we are doing if they manage to put a Sputnik up there they can also launch an atomic bomb and attack us from space now this is what introduced the scramble for this technological and surveillance, you know, race that we are talking about. That every nation is looking for security. Today they can even take your phone without taking it physically. They see what is in your phone. They listen to your conversation. They can even use your camera to record what is around you. That's how sophisticated this age has become. And now here is a time where people are planning in secret. After they plan, their scheme is uncovered. The question is, how did they know? What device are they using? Or is there a spy amongst us? Who's telling people what we are doing? Now that was the question of the king. And today as we speak, there is only one class of people that can fit this description. You say, my king, there is no spy. There is a man who was under the ministry of Elijah. That Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind. There is another man. When he left, his robe fell on another man. He has a double spirit of that man. The progression of the ministry of that man and that man is more current than tomorrow's news before BBC broadcast this man knows all about it somebody say amen are you beginning to see yourself already under the ministry of Elijah. You saw him taken up in the constellation. He said, one angel picked me up. You, you, you have seen that by revelation and the anointing that he brought back by that experience. It is power to the church. Power to Elisha. And Elisha is here. Somebody say Amen. 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 If we want to be honest, the members of the United Nations National Assembly they can learn a lot of lessons if they pay attention to the message of Malachi 4. There's a lot of money that is 
that is being wasted by nations because they don't know things that are to be. Now look at the Ukraine war as we speak. It's been going on for over a year. But imagine if there had an Elisha amongst them to tell them that this is the king of the north. This is Jehu. <laughs> he is anointed for such a time as this. There are certain, there are certain things that, that must be fulfilled whether we want it or we don't. Whether Russia wants it or it don't. It's not even about Vladimir Putin. It is prophecy that must be fulfilled. Whether you were in power in Russia, God was still going to cause you to bring this to pass. Somebody say Amen. But unto you the bride, it is revealed Amen. You know what's going to happen in Palestine. In the Middle East, they're having war. But you know what will happen to Israel. You know what will happen to America. Is that right? Amen. You know what will happen to Russia. In other words, you are carrying a knowledge that is questionable. That when that time comes, they will ask a question. What is happening? And certain things are being spoken before we implement them. And the focus will be brought to you. There are people that were under the message of William Marion Brown. These are the people that are speaking against Rome. Telling us the judgment of Rome before anything suffers. Somebody say Amen. 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 Slide number three. It's a scripture, same word and same waters. Now, 2 Kings chapter 6, I'll read from verse 14. I don't know if I copied it well, but it says, uh, The top scroll, the scripture, scripture could be 13 and he said, Go and spy on Gaza. Where he is. Go and spy on Gaza. Go and spy on Gaza. Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Now they are after the bride now. That's Elisha. Go fetch him. They want to understand how you know what you know. And why you speak things before they happen. Why you have that boldness and you seem not to be shaken in your oracles. So now they are coming for the bride. Elisha. Therefore send he thee the horses and chariots and a great host and they came by night and compassed the city about. Now, there is a time to run away. And there is also a time to stand. It's important in life to understand those principles. There are times when running away does not mean you are a coward. But it shows your understanding of God acts 
God's expectation over your life. There was a time that Paul was taken out from a window in a basket. A man under the lion anointing. But he was running away because he knew when to run and when not and when not to run. Praise be to God. Jesus as well. When there was a mob that almost killed him. Before time. The Bible says he walked before them and they were blinded and they could not see. He's a writer. Amen. And the Bible tells us when you see Jerusalem encompassed by armies. Run away. If you're in the city, go out. If you're outside, don't get in. He's a writer. Amen. But the same God is seeing the city encompassed in the time of Elisha. But God is not saying run. Praise be to God. Amen. Elisha is expected to stand. Is somebody understanding this language? Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. And then the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth. Behold, an host encompassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And this servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? So this time he has to stand. But the servant is terrified. You can even listen to the language. He's shaking. But he says, how shall we do? Now he's trying to incorporate Elisha into his fear. But Elisha is not afraid. Allow me to take off my jacket. Now there are times in life where you take somebody else's fear and yet you are not afraid is a writer Amen. and there are also times in life where you must refuse to fear their fear COVID-19 was not our fear it was the fear of the world the war in Ukraine is not our fear it is the fear of the world. The coming of the world to an end is not our fear. It is the fear of the world. So we are not supposed to fear their fear. And watch how Elisha deals with it. This is how the bride must deal with it. And he answered, Fear not. For they that are, that be with us, are more than they that are with them. Oh, yeah. Elisa is a wife. Baba Naro, Lerena, Bafeta, Baba Naro, Levale. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and he said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Elisha 
ke moka aba hotla ka bofofu ka mo elisa a gopetse yo number 1 sama tomo see not o sike if you want to do anything for god ga o nya ka go dira e ka ba e ngudirela mo dife thing you must remove fear se lo sama tomo to sha boifo with fear you can't do anything ka boifo o ka se fitlelle se ke somebody say amen a mo tomo ga re amen in every aspect of your life mo if you amount to anything you must not have fear the people that fear what people think about them and that fear it cripples them it makes them stagnant instead of progressing you're worried about how somebody else sees you must never forget my perception about you whether positive or negative does not make you any better or worse that must just stabilize you <laughs> someone can love you so much but that's not a ticket to heaven somebody can hate you so much but that's not a door to hell God looks at you as an individual according to your works and your faith that's why you must not fear a fearful person and not be entirely honest a fearful person can easily compromise a fearful person can never achieve their fullest potential that's what fear does so Elisha says fear not Elisha says Before we start anything, he says, Geazi, fear not. Yes. And he says, Many are they on our side. But they that are against us. Elisha knew the one that employed him. Elisha he, that he had employed angels <laughs> to stand for him <laughs> so Elisha was not pretentious <laughs> he was not afraid <laughs> he was actually not afraid <laughs> and I believe that's your testimony <laughs> that, that you're not pretending <laughs> you're, not like, you're not like a young boy walking in the graveyard whistling <laughs> trying to encourage yourself that you know you are afraid I believe in 2023 the bride of Christ must be fearless blessed be the name of the Lord Amen Amen you know the question is what makes you fear there's one thing that everybody fears and that thing is death you may talk things but people are afraid of death that's why you've got a medical aid that's why you've got tablets in the bag that's why you've got insurance you know people are people are afraid to die but let me tell you something the reason I believe this message and the reason why I believe is the truest thing that has come upon the earth this message has the power to take away fear of death. 
Nothing. Nothing else, brother. Ah, People are rich but dying. <laughs> with best doctors with, with everything but when you come to this message it is the power to take away that scare that's enough for me that's enough for me praise be to God Amen Amen I, I was listening to the critics of the message of Malachi 4. Though I felt infuriated, but I kind of liked them as well. <laughs> you know, sometimes you feel like you can respond, but you can't. You know what I'm talking about. But you know what I liked about these critics? The things they are criticizing at the foundation of my stand. When they say William Branham was the man of God, he should have stayed in his lane. You are called to pray for the sick and to prophesy. He made a mistake when he went to teaching. That's what they say, is that right? Now, look, you must know these things. Especially the young ones. You are exposed to these things on the internet. And you must have a response. Is that right? So, so, so they say, you know, when he started to preach the serpent seed, how he was going out of line. Such a ridiculous thing. And I said, oh my. This is the heart of the message. This is why we believe the message. That serpent seed is our stronghold. You can't see the serpent seed. You never see Satan in your family. You don't see Satan in your church. You don't see Satan in your nation. You won't even see Satan in your life. Because that serpent seed it unlocked the scheme of the devil. In every aspect of your life. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. But the answer is here. The eyes of Gehazi were opened. But if you check, also the people that came to attack were blinded. The same word that opens the eyes of Gehazi, it blinds the eyes of the army. The serpent seed opened our eyes. When you read it, you didn't question it. When you read it, you were illuminated. But when somebody else reads it, they are blinded by the same word. The same waters that saved Noah. Are the same waters that destroyed the world. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is where the heart of my message is. When we say don't lose hope, your eyes must open. The reason you are hopeless is because you are not seeing right. You're not God's spectacles. The moment you begin to see right, your hope shall be restored. I believe every message believer loves death. The reason we avoid death is only because we don't want to be cowards. We still want to kick the devil. Is that right? Amen. 
I didn't get an amen on that. Can I bring that back again? I believe every message delivered. We love death. But the reason we avoid death is because we don't want to leave the earth as To live is for Christ. To die is gain. Amen. Let me bring it closer. <laughs> Maybe you give me a better amen. Say you are staying in a shack made of corrugated iron. Is it right? Amen. If somebody offers you a triple story in Saint Ten, what will you choose? Definitely sent And let it be known to you. This body is corrugated iron. This body you are in. You know, if you understand this body, you will never be proud. Just Sixty kilometers an hour in accident here you are gone. Sixty kilometers an hour. We general um This body is fragile. Just a punch. It can take you down. Failing to drink water well. You can die because of a hiccup. That's how frail this body is. But there is a promise to the believer. This body is mukuku. This deadly tabernacle is dissolved by the Waiting for you to be in the heavens. Amen. How can you lose hope? You can't, brother. You want to go there faster. That is like an escape route for you. Praise God. I, I think if I was not a coward, I, I would have died. At that time, they wished for death, brother. <laughs> but, but you just say, Lord, I'm not a coward. I was dead. You get the point. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah, because it's an easier way, brother. No more pain. No more sickness. No more worries. Because I know the body is there. Believers are agreeing with me, real believers. But even sometimes when, when school work becomes difficult, you feel like let the rapture takes place. You know what I'm talking about. God, why don't you just end this thing now? Before the examination. It's because you know there is a body waiting for you. Let's be the name of the Lord. So God is saying, don't lose hope. You don't weep like they that do not have hope. Don't lose hope. Now, here is where we start. Slide number four. Now, I want you to see this diagram. So that you understand what took place. Gehazi, Gehazi was given eyes to see another dimension. I'm sure we all know we are living in a world of seven dimensions. But in those seven dimensions, we've got three realms. Now, 
SCH. Time and matter now is what we call the region of mortal beings. And you can put science into it. Which is the fourth dimension. And the region of mortal beings is the realm we call the humanistic realm. And when we talk about the fifth dimension we know it is hell is a writer Amen. where we have the region of the damned the region of demons and also the, the seat of Satan is a writer Amen. this is the part where Revelations chapter 9 says the lid of hell was opened that lead was opened and more than 200 million demons came to influence the region of mortal beings is that right? Amen. is that right? Amen. Revelation 9 the lid of hell was opened and Revelation chapter 10 the Bible says I saw a mighty angel come down because when the enemy comes in like a flood God lifts up a standard so when hell was opened heaven was also opened and it introduced the sick dimension the sixth dimension it is the region of the blessed the region of angelic beings you can call it the order of Melchizedek because that's where that mighty angel came from and William Branham said who is this Melchizedek that was King Theophany coming upon the region of mortal beings for the final showdown the battle that began in heaven it came into the mind of man which is the greatest battle ever fought but now in the 20th century living the mind of man the battle is living the mind of man blessed be the name of the Lord and it is coming down to the gates of Jerusalem the prophet calls it the Armageddon battle so it's people that came alright technology again Technology it's not on it looks like all right. Amen. Praise be to God. Now, this was the region of the lost. Hell. Hell. Leaking with heaven. Is that making sense? And then the seventh dimension. It is where God dwells. So we have got the humanistic realm. And we've got the realm of revelation. And that realm is the sixth dimension. And we have the realm of vision. That is here. So this is humanistic. Is that right? Amen. Revelation and vision. Now before we even go further, you're going to bring that back so that we close this chapter. Now give me slide number Praise God. Uh, 19, written three realms. Three realms. Slide 19. Listen to what Brother Branham said. I have said, as I have said, there are three elements. It's slide 19. As I have said, there are three elements. 
that people dwell in. The first one is humanistic. We down here that's the region of mortal beings. We say we will pray for that person. Sorry? We, we will pray for that person. I'm hoping now that they'll get well in the region of mortal being. Now next is divine revelation. That's when something down in your heart anchors it. And it says it's going to happen. Then, then something is going to happen. Now you are no longer hoping. It's, it's revealed to you. Like Simeon, it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost. Now he shall not see death. Until he see the Messiah. That's the realm of revelation. Then, then the third element is vision. Or the word of the Lord made manifest. When you see that, it thus says the Lord. Now this is no longer hoping. It's no longer a revelation. It's, it's thus says the Lord. It's not, it's not vision. Brother Panam says, if I ever told you anything in the name of the Lord and it didn't come to pass, that was vision. So, Praise be to God. Now, now do you see this quotation? Back to slide number four now. That's how it is upon this diagram. Now I want you to observe. Gehazi, Gehazi was here. He was limited to the five senses. That's why he was hopeless. That's why he was fearful. So when Elisha prayed, it opened the eyes of Gehazi that he sees beyond this dimension and what takes place beyond. Somebody say Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know this fourth dimension. It's only the believers that know what God made it for. We know Albert Einstein. Those guys were able to crack into God's laboratory. To show us what is on the other side. Because remember, this dimension, the fourth dimension, which is science, it is a channel of communication. Today, as we are speaking right now, there are people in various places seeing me like, and they are using the fourth dimension. Now, this fourth dimension, it is actually God's recorder. This fourth dimension is like the tap recorder of God that he uses to record all the things that take place. But science is abusing the dimension. Because right now as we speak, there are pictures moving here. Right here, there are voices. To a point that science even said, if we study hard, we can be able to catch up with the words that Jesus spoke verbatim. 
Because they believe they have a day somewhere. Once it's spoken, it's there. Once you live Leave it, it's recorded. If you leave it, living the life, it's, it's recorded. So point that, even if you think it, it's also recorded. William Branham was told, tell them when I should bring your, your, your thoughts are really louder in heaven than your words. So God is recording everything. What you do in private when you close the door, when you switch off the light, and you're having your phone, young man. You, mother and Papa may not see, but God is recording everything. So when you pray, you pray for the people of God. Praise be to God. What you do at work when your wife is not there, God is recording that. Sister, what you say behind the back of people and nobody you. God is recording all those things. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So science just got an antenna or a transmitter to be able to broadcast what is already there. Now, television does not manufacture a picture. It projects what's already there. Is a writer. Amen. Have you ever seen people that take pictures and videos in space? Those people never manufactured those things in space. Those things were already there. But they only got a gadget to project it to us. But those things were already living in space. Or in the deep ocean. Take those videos. The things that were already there. But they're just projecting to us. Can I get an amen to that? Amen. So if men can do that, you tell me that God does not know? Everything is recorded. Somebody say amen. amen. Listen. To what Brother Branham says. Slide 14. He says, dimensions that can be seen by a transformation. By television. Who is this Melchizedek? His, his first being was spirit. God, supernatural. Alright? Amen. And the great eternal. Now, second, he begin to form himself towards flesh. It's called the word body. So from the seventh dimension, he condescended into the sixth dimension. The order of Melchizedek. He became the logos. The visible expression of the invisible God. He said he was in the form of Theophan. Now we we'll get to that. Uh, prove it in a, in a few minutes, the Lord willing. He, he was the word. Something that you could not see. It could be right here now. Yet you cannot see it. Is that right? Amen. 
Now, let me show you from the diagram. Please bring that diagram again. Now, Watch what take place. The great eternal one up there. Covering time, space, and eternity. He condescends into theophany. In the sixth dimension. And he became King Theophany Melchizedek. But that word, which was in the beginning, it put on flesh. Walked amongst us in the region of mortal people. Are you, are you understanding this language? Now, back to that quotation. He could be right here now. Slide 14. Now, yet you cannot see it. Now, now, do you understand Gehazi now? He was there. <laughs> Angels were there. But, but Gehazi could not see. Because they were in another form. Theophany. Somebody say Amen. And he said it's just like well the television. That's in another dimension. Television. People are moving right through this room now. Television. Singing. There is colors also. But the eye is only subject to the five senses. Your whole being is only subject to five senses. Father. And you are only subject to what the sight has been limited to see. But there is another dimension that can be seen by a transformation. And it says by television. Is somebody hearing this language? Elisha was connected already. Because he was a prophet. He didn't need to sleep to dream a dream. He could dream a dream while he was awake. But because Gehazi was not a prophet. He was limited. That's why he was hopeless. That's why he was fearful. Because he looked around. He saw armies around the city. He says, Elisha, we are doomed. There's nowhere to run. There's no time to escape. It's all over for us. But Elisha's prayer, it was like William Branham said to the angel of the Lord, I want my son Billy Paul to see you. Now, this did not create the angel of God. That angel was always there. William Paul's eyes were opened up. And he saw what was happening there. Oh, somebody say amen. While I'm standing here in Seychelles, the angel of God is here. While I'm preaching here in Seychelles, angels are all around this building. Some of you are sitting there. Some of you doorspeakers. God in his power is right in this place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, somebody say amen. Oh, yeah. Something that you could not see. Yet it's there. Listen to Brother Branham slide 15. Now in the unveiling of God he says. God changed himself. Changes his form. If you notice here in Philippians. He said not thinking it robbery but he took the form of a man. Now the Greek word here 
for that form I've been looking at it all day you know yesterday trying to think about what it was I found that it comes from this word and more fair it's spelled E-N-M-O-R-P-H-E -E. Looking in the Greek To find out what a morphe was I may pronounce that wrong That's the reason I spell it, you know When the tape is released The people, you know, like scholars, you know Now in Mose, means that he changed himself. He come down. Now the Greek word there means that something that could not be seen yet is there. And then it's changed and the eye can catch it. Are you understanding this language now? now I, I, I like this connotation. It's more like a priest and a prophet. A priest. He presents men before God. He enters in the holiest of holies. And he intercedes. A priest speaks for the people. But a prophet. A prophet speaks for God. A prophet is coming from the holiest of holies and speaking for God to man. Now watch what an Mose is. There is a time that God opens your eyes and you see what's on the other side. But this time it's Melchizedek putting on flesh that the eye can catch it Amen The word became flesh Dwelt amongst us That was an enmose so, so, so that we could handle him So that we can sit with him So that we can talk to him Bless be the name of the Lord Amen. And he says Like Elijah was a Dothan Now the servant couldn't see all those angels around there And God just changed Not brought the angels down But he changed the scene Of the servant And there was mountains full of angels Fire Mosses of fire Fires of fire All around the prophet See He changed the scene The thing is already there Is somebody understanding this language what you're calling a problem It's only a problem Because of your limited sight When God comes down He doesn't change your circumstances He changes the way you see It's like people in He's a writer He doesn't change your circumstances He changes the way you see just like the people with financial crisis It's not because they are problems Let me speak this Within the message context Praise be to God Oh my Amen. Money can never be enough Never mm -mm. Even 
even if you earn a thousand dollars and they give you two thousand two thousand will never be enough even if they give you ten thousand or even a hundred thousand even a million money is not enough I can prove it to you. Why is Bill Gates going to work? Why is Elon Musk waking up every day? Going to work. Because money is not enough. He still wants more. You are saying I want to fix my bicycle. And my money is not enough. Someone wants to fix his car. But money is not enough. Another one wants to fix an airplane. But it's not enough. According to your status. Money is never enough. You don't have taxi fare. Someone doesn't have fuel fare. Another one doesn't have money to to board an aeroplane. Did you understand that? No matter what, what you need What you need is not more money. What you need is a change of scene. The way you see, we call it contentment. Receive it. Somebody say amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The brother says uh, happiness does not come. Uh, by the goods that you have, the worldly goods. It doesn't consist of the worldly goods. But of happiness uh, is in how you're content with the portion lotted we feel we are now We can't all drive cars. We can't all have big houses. We can't all have big houses. But one thing is, we can all be happy. Oh yeah. Amen. You know. Let's <laughs> go. When you really know your stand, you can never be made to feel inferior by any man. The world judges with you know the amount of money you have. But not with believers. A brother, when you go to work, you are not at the mercy of your, your boss. You're serving God at that workplace. And you're not even afraid to lose that job. That's why you don't compromise your principles. Because you know that man is not above you. It's God who's above you. So if they tell you to put pens as a sister, you tell them I don't need Why? Because you're not afraid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Look, look. Money is nothing before God. It's nothing. It's like sweat we just wipe off like this. It comes and it goes. There's something more important than money. And it's important for the believer to understand that. But Pastor, I may not have that, but I'm happy. Sister, I may not have what you have. That's what you have. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. So it's contentment. Oh yeah. So God won't give you more money. He just changes the way you see. But what do we and you stop living above your means. Oh, The the 
problem is when you get a promotion you want to upgrade yes before that salary even comes you are already shopping another car no my salary scale is higher so I must, I must drive that car that's why you are always in debt promotion does not mean you must upgrade stay with the same car Stay with the same clothes. Eat the same type of food. Then you know you are blessed. Amen. Oh yes. Amen. So happiness is already there. Let have a look at your eyes need to be opened so that's what I'm trying to say and God that always was here the only thing he done when he become man he changed his mask this in Mose, he changed himself to what he was to what he is or his mask another act or somebody say amen no I like that brother I, I, feel, I, I think some of you are already feeling rich now without any fault you are just feeling it that is called deals with the way you see things you leave this church happy today, today. you thank God for your wife you thank God for your husband you thank God for your parents you thank God for your children because Jesus loves you Brother, brother, you don't need another wife. You need to change your spectacle. The way you are seeing is the wrong way. People right now that are losing hope. It's a marriage institution. Maybe your wife made a mistake. Oh, your husband made a mistake. You don't need another man. You don't need another wife. You need a change of seeing things. Amen. So in other words, the devil is defeated already. No more divorce. Satan, offend you. Are you? No, no, no. Uh, let, let me show you something about life. The way you treat your wife as a man is the way you are begging God to treat you. It's automatic. If you cannot forgive your wife, you're always reminding her of her mistakes. They confessed pastor. To the point that she is depressed. You are saying to God, Lord, remind me of my sin. Tell me every day. When I want to preach, tell me that I committed a doubt. When I'm raising my hands in church, remind me that I was corrupted worker. And you will do that. Because the way you treat your wife is the way God will treat you as the wife. Amen. Can I go further? The way you treat your pastor as a man is the way you are training your wife to treat you as the of the home. 
Bello kam ruti wale lapa. Maybe you did not hear me well. I'm saying as a man. The way you treat your pastor. Is the way you are telling your wife to treat you. If you the pastor. the pastor. Saying he, this man this, this man that. Let me tell you something as a man. Don't deceive yourself. If you are doing that, rest assured your wife does the same when you're not there. You're not deceiving a man. You're deceiving a man. Amen. Your wife will be saying to your children, you know, your father is the head. He is the head. He's the head. Oh, but you know, I don't really agree with him in everything. It's your wife talking to your children. So when your father talks, you know, you must, sometimes you need a future. That's what, in her own family outer when you are not there. She's doing what you do on the family outer. We thank God for the word today, children. Uh, you know I'm the pastor of this house before we sleep I read the word uh, the service was very good the pastor was anointed but when it comes to this part we see it this way don't take it the way the pastor speaks the people like that brother the pastor sweats, he preaches. And with one word, you disqualify the whole sermon. As an after preacher, telling your children, talking to other people, you're disqualifying the word of God. So no, it happens also to you in your absence. Amen. I'm not getting an amen there. Uh, but it's okay, it's okay. Don't uh, say, it's fine. That one is okay. It's okay. Uh, we'll look keep it. Inside. Keep it inside that one. Uh, we, we'll look in camera, uh, brother, it's easy to deal with men. Ah, uh, it's easy. Uh, easy. Uh, if they uh, want uh, to beat you, give them the other side. Uh, the wife uh, will uh, cover at the home for you. Uh, <laughs> Every seed brings forth after its kind. You're not cheating any man. That's why when you feel like you can't be under a certain leadership. Don't confuse those that believe. Who live in peace. Who cause confusion amongst people. Yes. All right. Somebody amen. say amen. Mutomar, amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Don't worry. Today I told myself I'll close exactly at one, so I'm not going to take time. There are people I want to prove to that I can also preach short. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I want to do it short. 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 Now, do you see what's happening here? Okay. Right. Now, listen to what Brother Branham says here. Eh? So, it's something that's there, but you can't see, see it. it. But God allows you to see it. Now, slide number 13. Now, maybe before we come to slide 13. Slide 17, I'm just going to describe what Brother Branham says. Here, Brother Branham says, I see by God's television. You look it up. It's a direct quotation. I have it there, but I want to save time. He was explaining on discernment. The sister was coming close. And he says, I can't see you anymore. I'm in another realm. I've changed dimensions. Is that right? Amen. And then now where was he? 
He was in the fourth dimension. Now the fourth dimension. That's why you see Brother Branham could tell people their history. Present and future. Because it's in the recording system of God. So God would tell to say, I'm going to project this to him. Actually, if you read this book, uh, a man sent from God. You read it at home. When you come to page uh, page 1,500 all right, I lost my page, but you ask me later on. Brother Bosworth explains how Brother Branham gets into a vision. Brother Bosworth gets into a vision. And then he begins to show that everything is recorded. Only the confessed sins that are under the blood. Those are the things deleted. But if it's not confessed, it's right there. You will meet it, it one day. So here the prophet is starts to show the lady the pastor showing that he's changing dimension he ends by saying I am seen by God's television so others are seen by this television the prophet was seen by God's television your past, present and future is a writer Amen. so now slide 13 he says someday it will be a reality just as television is now now brother Branham says as I said last week or week last at Phoenix 13 so, uh, it's proven that they are subjects of the of this earth. People passing through this building. Television proves that it's another dimension. Our natural eyes, our five senses cannot pick that up. It isn't that television manufactures anything. It's only channels. You cannot make a move with your finger, you cannot bet your eye, but it's proven to be recorded forever. I might be standing. A man in Australia would have a television screen here. Not only that, but a man could speak. Move his finger, bear his eye. And even the color of clothing that he's wearing would be projected here on the wall. And here in Africa, Africa Australia, Australia, around the world, see, Amen. there is a cycle of other words. Uh, the cycle of at the waves, the, at the television waves, at the waves. Uh, I cannot explain it, uh, but I know it's there. I don't think anyone could really explain it. So television can pull this in and make it a reality by some instruments. But they could reflect it on the wall. Now, that same thing was here when Adam was here. Television was here when Elijah sat on Mount Carmel. It was here when Martin Luther and the young priest threw the communion on the floor and said it's kosher. It was just when he said the just shall live by faith it was here then but we are just finding it 
Are you listening? Amen. And it's also so that in our presence tonight is God. Angels, supernatural beings that's unseen to our natural senses of sight. But someday it will be a reality just as television is now. And just as common. Now that is why I believe the word. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Oh, I like this brother. It should be a reality. Of course, this speaks of the millennium. Because in the millennium, brother, we are seeing all dimensions. Because sometimes when you say God knows everything, it doesn't mean that God is like air is everywhere. His omniscience it is because he knows all things the beginning and the end he has a recording of all of that and that, that's what makes him God now, we are coming to a point even in our day before the rapture that we get a full test how many remember when the curtain was rent into two someone said I saw a beautiful girl there she's too beautiful I've never seen a girl like that and she disappears and that was Sarah and I say, I'm seeing a very handsome man young good looking man the Bible says the graves opened and the Old Testament saints began to walk in Jerusalem. But their people whose eyes were opened up. That see God's television. So we see people that had died. People that were concerned. Somebody say Amen. Just before the rapture it will take place. You'll be walking sister. And you say oh it's that brother. It disappears. If the sister soon is there, it disappears. What's happening, brother? It's becoming real. Our eyes are opening. We are connected to that channel. The channel of communication. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Somebody say Amen. Mutomar Amen. If if, 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 if I had time I was going to show you certain things but I want you to see something the opening of your eyes will silence all fears the opening of your eyes it will silence all fears now when God is coming in our time to tell us don't lose hope it is because every one of us we are prone to lose hope we come to that spot in our life we come to that spot in our life where we lose hope. How many remember Moses about to cross the Red Sea? He became hopeless because his eyes were not open. The heart of heaven was dead to open the waters and God says stand still and see the salvation of God somebody say amen how many remember Abraham he was losing hope I'm getting old Lord I have no child of my own so my loins he promised that that child will be formed out of my loins but now I'm getting old. Is Eliaza going to be the one that will manifest the promise? He was hopeless until God met him. That's the offer. Oh my! When Abraham saw him, 
Melchizedek he was looking into another dimension and maybe you are here you have been in the message for years promised son is not being formed in your heart and you are thinking is it Eliezer William Branham that he manifests this things and it is not me because I don't lose hope how of you Lloyd how of you shall be brought you praise be to God how many remember Elijah after the juniper tree he was losing hope he had done killed all the prophets the anointing and left him now he was wishing to die The same with Gehazi. We have spoken about him. How many remember Job? Job. Right in the prison. And then uh, He was losing hope. He had preached so hard. Now he's arrested. The devil said, I got him now. John is now regretting. Why was I too hard? Why did I preach this way? I should, have, I should have been more kinder to the people. He was regretting his ministry. Observe. It's time you see William Branham talking about Elijah, talking about John. He is explaining his current feeling. He's not preaching the Bible. He's telling you how he feels. But John forend the first coming of Christ. William Branham was forending the second coming. In the spirit of Elijah. So when he say Elijah, he was discouraged. He's saying I am discouraged. When he say John was regretting. Why he preached so hard? William Branham was regretting. Amen. In 1960, 61, 62, 1960, 61, 62, William Branham was regretting. People were leaving him. Up. He was not doing healing campaigns. Up. He was not discerning anymore. He was not. So people began to leave him one by one, one by one. And he's telling to ask himself, Did I do something wrong? He was wishing to die. He was discouraged. He was losing hope. Oh, Praise be to God. Amen. But God came down. He said, William Branham, do not lose hope. You are not going to die. This is dreadful. The vindication of your ministry. The crowning of your ministry. Do not lose hope. Glory be to God. And William Branham was encouraged. And what happened? He was taken in a constellation. And in 2023, what is taking place? I believe the bride is losing hope. There is a lot of things happening out there. The denominations they have impersonated everything. It's like they are outrunning us in everything. And you start to feel discouraged. This message has power. Oh, 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 the Pentecostals have power. You, you start to question yourself. Is God be with us? Where are the miracles? How come we are seeing things happening? The denominations. The people in our church are sick. And some are discouraged. Do you lose hope? God is coming. Do not lose hope. Glory be to God. Amen. This is the vindication of the bride's ministry. This is what must take place. 
grandissez du rêve. You must be hunted down. Vous soyez tu ouru shalom ra. Like Elisha was being hunted down. Now Elia na wila shalom ra. You must be questioned. Vous soyez tu ouru shalom ra. Elisha was being questioned. Now Elisha ila ouru shalom ra. Elia that sanction. Bele ru mama asa nonga wa di ti. Where we need. More and more struggle. By the grace of God. Come on, come on, come on. To see. Through God's spectacles, what is surrounding us, sister, in your old state, holding a stick, when you're going to buy buy bread and acha at a spaza, there are angels surrounding you. You're looking at angels. You're looking at angels. You're looking at angels. But people don't see it. Rather in your state. Without shoes. Without money. There are angels. That are in your home. But don't see it. The time has come. The time has come. That it be a reality. That we can see. Through his eyes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't lose up. He says, I will not suffer my bride to see corruption with our heads bowed. And the Jesus body was in the ground for 3 days. Mele wa Jesu wile wa ba ka mu machetse mara. And God said I'll suffer not my holy one to see corruption. Muli mo are nka seke ka dumella mo ghetho wa ka ore a bone go bo. Even though he was in an earth that it corrupted many bodies from Adam to Abraham and all the saints. He said, I will not suffer my holy one to see corruption. He did not lose hope. And we are in this grave of Babylon where people are corrupted by demons. People are dying. But God is saying, I will not suffer my bride to see corruption. You are in a dead world with dead people. But he says, you are not going to be corrupted like the rest of the world. Don't lose hope. Allow me to pray with you even before I close. I believe. I, I, I just believe. God is capable of doing something. I know you might be having circumstances that nobody can understand. But I want you to give God a chance just now. As I'm going to pray, I'm not asking for God to change your situation. I'm just asking for God to open your eyes that you can see things the way God sees them. Your problems, your problems, your challenges, even right here in Sichel, the, the, the angels here, Amen. Amen. It may not be many people. But I believe God is going to hear my prayer right now. Be that one. Whose eyes can be opened. That your weeping may be turned to worship. If you are saying pray with me, Pastor. 
I just want you to open your heart. If you want to raise your hand, it's fine. Even if you don't raise your hand, your thoughts they speak louder in heaven than God. He can see your heart. If you are sincere, you really want this. You want this opening of eyes that you can understand who you are, your purpose, your calling, and your election. I want you to agree with me in prayer. As the Bible says, if two shall agree upon touching anything, then it shall be done. Amen. Yes. Lord. Oh yeah. Dear Heavenly Father. I've done my part as a man. To yield to your spirit. That whatever that is spoken. Will be for the edification of your people. I had so many things I thought as a man I would say but you kept me from it and you emphasized on this part and I honor that as well because I believe you are an orderly king and you have a provided way to bring deliverance direction and leadership to your children Heavenly Father as your prophet stood and he said it's not me that do these things he said it's your faith that's why virtue comes out of me and I believe it's not me that is preaching. Yes, Lord. It is the faith of your children. Amen. They're the ones contacting yes. that dimension Amen. and bringing down that deliverance Amen. through an earthen vessel you have ordained for today. Oh, and I believe, Lord, you know them. Oh, God. Nothing is hid from you. Amen. You know they are going in. They are coming out. Lord, you know their situations. Amen, their homes. Oh, you know what the doctors are trying to explain even better about their bodies. You understand? Because you are Alpha and Omega. And now we have seen in your word that there is a people in a time of war just before the end whose eyes of understanding must be opened that they understand the scriptures. A people like those on their way to a mouse whose eyes were withheld from seeing who they were walking with. But at the end, they were opened and they recognized all these years he was with us. I'm not here to manufacture anything at Seychelles. I believe you are the source, the founder, and the genesis of this ministry. You are the one that called Pastor Mkowi from the beginning, even up to now. Before many were even born. You are the one that led him. You spoke through him. And he has given birth to so many out there. You are watching and you are seeing. And I believe at this junction of time. You are bringing us to a place. That we can see what was already there. Because I know it is still there. For Gehazi you opened his eyes. Abraham the same. Elijah, John, William Branham. Now it's our turn, Lord. That we may not lose hope. Because with our eyes, our natural eyes, we easily lose hope. Because what we are seeing is not encouraging. Give us another set of eyes. A set of eyes that can transcend the humanistic realm. A set of eyes that can see the things of God and your expectation. I am praying in the blood and name of Jesus Christ. Believing if two shall agree upon touching anything. I am agreeing with the hearts of your children. I am connecting with their faith in their hearts. Tired of going in circles. Tired of murmuring and complaining. Tired of crying. Tired of all the pressures of this life. May today be that day, oh God. That you come and say, peace, be still. Open our eyes that we may see. Like blind Bartimaeus, Lord, by faith we want to touch you. Like blind Bartimaeus, he cried, Son of David, have mercy on me. You said, what can I do for you? 
He said, I want to see. Amen. Father, we also want to see today. Amen. We also want to behold your glory. Oh, Lord. You told us Amen. that the light of the body is the eye. Amen. And you told us that if our eye is not single, then where is the light? Yes. We cannot see without light. Amen. Even science tells us that our physical eyes can only see because of light. Yes. But if there is no light to stimulate our eyes, yes. then we cannot have proper vision. Yes. And I believe, oh God, your word is that light. Yes. And that light, if it shines upon us, yes. upon our souls, yes. we can be able to see too. Yes, Lord Jesus. We can be able to behold your glory. Yes. Not in the millennium, but now. Yes. Not on the other side, but now. Yes. To brush shoulders with our theophanies. Yes. William Branham, when he had lost hope, you made him to connect with the angels and he connected with another one that meant most to him oh God and that's the one that picked him up and I believe you were seeing beyond the humanistic realm and I pray that it be so for us that we can brush shoulders with our theophanies that we can behold that body without spot or rancor a body that cannot be sick a body that cannot die. Yes, Lord. There are some of us even here, Lord, that have had dreams before. Some that had visions we know. That they saw that body. They saw people young saying, I can't go back to that carcass, Lord. It was you opening eyes of a few. The testimonies we heard before the passing of our sister. How the brother saw it in a dream or in a vision. But Lord, we believe that the kind of eye we are looking for right now, that not only upon specific individuals, but the whole church, every person, Lord, open their eyes, that they can peep into the other side and see that body. It will give them faith. It will give us hope. It will give us strength to know that we are not alone at work at home and most importantly in this house you've always been there inspiring preachers inspiring ministers to bring this word with clarity we thank you I dedicate and I commit every individual into your faithful hands be it unto us according to the season and according to your word is our prayer I commit everything to you. In Jesus' name. And everybody, say Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. God bless you. As the pastor is coming, all the elders. Satana dalanga ye, Satana mwenzi bola. Satana dalanga ye, Satana mwenzi bola ngeke. Yo yo mina, oh mina ngeke. Menangeke, menangeke ne vangeke, yo yo mena, oh menangeke, menangeke, menangeke ne vangeke, yo yo mena, uba nanga.
ke madlwara na ka moka let's take our seats all of us let's clap our hands up to the lord let's clap hands up to the lord haleluya amen we are thankful for being together are you happy for the lord amen 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 while i was seated there I would th- I thought that if the pastor would go without praying for you I'll ask him Now he has already done that part. We appreciate that let's clap hands for him God bless you all We appreciate you You know I was with my sister out here I said because she's married there in Sikukuni. She was going too far. I nearly persuaded her to come in. I thought maybe let me not to speak to her. But my matter was this. That woman came to our service in Litswatla. One day and wanting us to pray for her after preaching she was already healed amen now the reason why i wanted to come with her in the service i wanted her to give the testimony from there or oh, is the one that started and told me the reason why she was in a hurry then i couldn't change her mind i don't know if sister stella knows what was troubling her would you be able to tell <laughs> of course you a big problem can you say it you should know other people it's difficult <laughs> i normally tell my wife that i'll call her one day to come and greet the people <laughs> i know there i'll be provoking her I don't know if you'll be able to speak from where you are or standing. Alright. Oh, the mic doesn't have issues. It will send your weight around. And then so just say on. And then what you are able to if you do remember. But what I wanted to tell you is that that sister in the service of the people that you see them coming with the taxi here she got healed while seated on the seat. <laughs> I was trying to say that people must be strengthened knowing that to be healed. It is exactly how the pastor told you. Now because he is with you, he has done it. And so God bless you. I can say brother to Laimo when I can overlay. You may speak from where you are. I greet you all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That mic doesn't want to speak. Just take it up. I'm going to speak of the testimony of Sister Grace. She had come to Litswata back at home, going back to Skinot, where she comes from. Then I said to her, let us go together to the service. And she started going with us to the service. Then go service at the service when they were preaching continuing on speaking and they said everything is possible 
have faith. After they said then people should come to be prayed for, but she did not stand up. After the service, I said to her, you cannot do something like that. She said to me, while I was seated, I could hear that I'm, I'm healed. Now we are thankful. So uh, I, I hoped, uh, I wished, because I had seen her here. I wished that she's the one who could come here and tell you what happened. So, but the testimony thereof is exactly that. You hear the sister is the one that invited so her to come to the service. She is the one that knows better. Let's clap hands for the Lord. What we are speaking of, it has happened. And that's how it happened. I'm speaking this because there may have been one of you who wanted to be prayed for. Just receive and accept that the way they have prayed, you were also because it will not, you will not be the first one. It has always been happening. And even with you, it has happened. Even when you go back home, believe that it has happened. The God that has healed others, even if they were not laid upon hands, you also he has healed you like that today. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us clap hands for the Lord. Amen. We are thankful saints. We do not have so many words. We are thankful Pastor Mutasa. I believe these two weeks are overstretched here. I took him from here to Tembisa. He is the one who was preaching up there. Now I said to him that you should come and finish at our home. I believe you are happy for him that he should also come back. When he has arrived back home, he must then deliver our greetings. God bless you. Amen. We may have a song and sing for the Lord so that we can come to a point of greeting one another and we go home in peace. Are you happy for the Lord? Give us a song. If it's not good, we'll stop and start another one. I believe that because the way you are so happy, it should God be good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I was listening to one brother yesterday uh, saying that God he has answered you today. And do not ever say tomorrow. Amen. Amen. If you see and think that maybe he has not answered you today, it, you must know that tomorrow it will be today. You must never change the matter on the way. You have been answered by God today. That's right. Even if it happens maybe after two years, it would be today. And you must never agree with Satan that it's impossible. Tell him that it's not. God has answered me today. God bless you. Let me sing as we stand to our feet. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. I say rejoice.